Today we're going to talk about the very serious problem in dust collection systems, that of fires and explosions. But most of them are caused by sparks and embers that are carried through the conduits into the dust collector and then sets the dust collector on fire. Also, you will get some, some dust and debris in the ductwork itself and these sparks and embers could set off that debris and then you got a fire in the duct. This device, the quencher, responds to that issue by eliminating those sparks. It comes in different sizes. As you can see here, we have a large one, a Q84. We have two other sizes even larger than this that we manufacture as standard, and we can actually make any custom size. We can make them very small as well, such as this intermediate size Q20 here, and this smaller little Q10, which goes on small branches. For instance, if you have a source capture arm for welding, you only have about 800 CFM. Well, that's the model that we would use there. The principle behind this is, if, you, if my fist represents a spark or an ember, while it's traveling down the duct like this, it has an envelope of hot air around it. And that hot air can be up to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. And what it does, it feeds oxygen to this ember and it also keeps it warm so it can stay above the ignition temperature and it maintains the spark. That spark can travel 100 to 200 feet down a duct before getting extinguished and sometimes they don't even extinguish that. What we do with this device here, as you'll notice, it looks like a big fan, but it's not a fan. This is a strict, stri a, a, a static device, fixed, there's no motors, no fan wheels, no power to this thing. It's strictly a passive device. And what it does, the air comes in from the other side, and you'll see that these veins are curved this way, and that's a very specific profile. There's only one profile that will work for each side. This profile is different as that one is, as that one is. And if you try to repeat the same profile for the same units, they won't work. So that's very important. And what we do, we spin this air very violently. So here's your, here's your spark again, and it's going around really rapidly. And what we do by, by doing that, we break away that envelope of hot air, and it takes away the oxygen, so this spark is no longer fed, it has to go out but immediately it gets attacked by cold air that's surrounding this envelope. Take the envelope away, the cold air comes to it, and this thing cannot reignite again. And so when it leaves this device, there is no more sparks or embers. And that is very important to remember. In dust collection and in filtration, we will tolerate a certain efficiency, less than 100%. Well, in this case, we can't tolerate anything less than 100%. One spark getting through this is enough to set the dust collector on fire. Every unit has a label on it because you'll see that there is a directional flow to it. If you see the welding that we have here, it comes in straight here, then it turns very violently. It's very important that the air comes in this way and gets turned that way. And that's what the label will show right here on every unit, which way to install this thing. We have a couple of options on this one. For instance, the access door right here, which allows you to get inside and clean this thing out or just for inspection purposes. This extension that you see here, mo most units by the way will end right here, that's the standard unit. But this one has been put on with an extension so that we could put this cleaning device, this is an automatic cleaning device called our deck cleaner booster system. And what it is, it's, it's a uh, diaphragm valve here connected to compressed air. There's the compressed air chamber to give us enough punch in order to clean this out. And this tube goes down inside here and you will see these tubes right here. And on the reverse side here you've got orifices. And so you get a very high energy jet that gets blown against the, these veins and cleans them out and keeps this area automatically clean. 